Even at the end, there is a bend. When you think it's the end, God shows up. When you think everything is over, you are down and out, God shows up. And God is saying, when you are down to nothing, God is up to something. When you are down to nothing, God is up to something. The darker your night, the brighter your light. When you think everything is over, the Bible says, why Samson was still wondering what to do. He found a jawbone of an ass. That is the jaw of a donkey that was kept on the floor. That speaks of Calvary. He found the jawbone of an ass and took that jawbone. And with that jawbone, he slew 1,000 men with a jawbone. There was no sword when they gathered. There was no spear when they gathered. But ah, in the midst of that, a jawbone appeared. Sarko Parita, the enemy child of God. There is something called the supernatural. Where did the jawbone come from? We don't know. How how did job on appear we don't know you have believed so much in the natural you are limited because you don't understand there is something called the supernatural money can appear in people's account you don't understand what we talk about the supernatural water can be turned to wine you don't understand what we talk about the supernatural manna can fall from heaven you don't understand we talk about the supernatural there was no sword a job bone appeared a helper can show up in your life i'm talking about the supernatural the supernatural is when the celestial swallow the terrestrial. The supernatural is when God brings his extra on your ordinary. Sir, without you knowing, you have an empty passport now. But a visa can appear in one week. And in three weeks, you can see yourself in America. It's called the supernatural. You have no car now. You don't even have money to buy a car. Somebody can buy a car and give to you. Somebody say, Lord, I received the supernatural. Lord, 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 I receive the supernatural. Somebody shot fire, fire. Somebody shot fire, fire. Somebody shot fire, yeah, 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 yeah. In your journey to greatness, there are crossroads. Where all you need is supernatural assistance. When you get to a point where you are trying to figure out a solution, humanly speaking, it doesn't look there's any way connect to supernatural assistance. Say, Father, humanly speaking, I know nothing can happen, but I connect to supernatural assistance. I receive supernatural supply. I receive supernatural assistance. Hear me, child of God, there is a world called the supernatural world. That is the ministry of the angel. They have, the angels are the facilitators of the supernatural. They facilitate manifestation. There are many of us who have come to a point and a junction in our lives. Humanly speaking, you don't know how you can figure out a solution to that problem. You don't know how to figure out a way out of that battle. At that point, something imagine surrounded with 1,000 men in the midst of a look at your mind's eye and imagine it in your mind's eye. And you're just imagine 1,000 men. Something thought that was his end. A jawbone appeared. I believe in the supernatural. When it appears, everything is over. I don't even know how my life is going to turn out, but I connect. I connect the supernatural workings of God. Not by power, not by might, but by. Spirit, say of the Lord, you don't serve a dead God, you serve a mighty God. He's the same yesterday, he's the same today, he's the same forever. When God says yes, no man can say no. When God lifts you up, no man can bring you down. God is on your side, power is on your side, glory is on your side. Somebody shall supernatural assistance.